It is high time that you let Ali go. You are way too old for him, you hag. Besides, I'm the only woman in the world who Ali really loves, so just do us all a favor and divorce him. Excuse me? I said that I want you to divorce him. Then I want you to pack up your things and move far, far away. From now on, the two of us are going to be living in this amazing condo all by ourselves. And we certainly don't need an old hag like you hanging around and bringing us down. I'm sorry, but I literally have no idea who you are at all. Are you sure that you aren't sending all of these to the wrong person? Are you kidding me? What is that supposed to mean? Well, it means that I think you're sending these messages to the wrong number. So can you please double check that they're going to the right person? I mean, I don't know who you are and I don't know anyone named Allie. But I don't think that anyone should be sleeping around with married men, if you want my opinion. Just who do you think you are to talk down to me like that? And I'll have you know that this is the correct number. You are Alexander's wife, Fiona, aren't you? I mean, I know that you are, so I don't get why you're trying to talk down to me. I knew that this was your number, and that's why I'm messaging you. So you listen to me when I say that it's time for you to leave your husband. I mean it. I'm the only person who should be with Allie. Wait a second. Are you telling me that Allie and Alexander, as in my husband, are the same person? Did you really message me out of the blue like this just to tell me that you're having an affair with my husband? <laughs> now you finally get it. I'm glad that you and I are finally on the same page about this. But I don't understand. I know that Alexander isn't cheating on me. Hmm, well that's the thing. I wouldn't say that he's cheating on you so much as that he's found his true love. I have his heart now, not you. I'm not just some casual fling for him or something like that. We're serious. And that's why you think that he and I need to get divorced? You sure are arrogant for someone who's sleeping with another woman's husband. I mean, do you realize that at the end of the day, you are talking to the wife of the man you want to marry, right? In fact, I don't think I've ever heard of someone telling on themselves quite as badly as you are here. Do you really think that you both are going to get away with this? Oh no, I'm so, so scared about what you might do to us. What can you really do though? Sue us for the affair. <laughs> because if that's what you were planning on doing, we're already prepared to have to deal with that. <laughs> Wait a second, you mean you're saying this even though you realize you could be sued? You know, I may only be 22 years old, but I have my own personal savings, so just hurry up and leave Allie already. After all, you should know that he's just obsessed with me and doesn't love you anymore, so if it's his money you want, then just hurry up and divorce him and you'll get it. Hey, Alex, are you there? I was just curious if you know a woman named Tammy. Do I know a woman named Tammy? Why do you ask? Well, because I just got some messages from this Tammy and she said that she knew you. In fact, she told me that you two were having an affair and that you really love her. And then she told me that I should divorce you so that she could marry you. Then she went on to say a bunch of things about how you don't love me and all that. Wait, what? Are you serious? Someone really said that to you? I'm going to ask you one more time, Alex. Do you know this person or what they're talking about? And if you say you don't, then I want you to know that I'm going to have a look through your study. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you don't have to go and do something like that? I thought I told you that my study was off limits. I know that we're married, but a husband should still deserve to have his own private space. I understand where you're coming from, but I think that in light of the circumstance, I am still going to do it. After all, the one place I'm not supposed to go would be the best place to hide the proof of your affair from me, don't you think? Okay, okay, I'll come clean. Yes, I slept around with this Tammy girl. There, is that what you wanted to hear? I confirmed all your fears about me cheating on you. What do you want to do about it now? Alex, why are you talking to me like this? I thought that you were done cheating on me. Were you just never going to tell me until I found out about it for myself? You said this wouldn't happen again. And that was only after I caught you in your last affair six months ago. Well, I'm sorry, but you know that I'm just a bit of a chick mag. It is not my fault that after you told me to stop cheating on you that I met the woman of my dreams. 
Woman of your dreams? I am your wife. What does that make me then? Actually, don't, don't answer that. I, I want a divorce and that's that. If you're still not ready to settle down and get serious, then I don't see why we should stay married to each other. Are you kidding me? I don't want to divorce you. Why would you say that? I told you the last time that no matter what, I won't divorce you. Why not? Why stay with me at this point? Because of my mom. Just think of the shock that it would give her to hear that her son got divorced. You know how highly my parents think of me? You wouldn't want to crush their hopes like that, would you? I mean, I started my own company. I'm a big success. I just don't know what hearing that we're getting divorced because I cheat on you would do to them. I could just see my mom fainting right on the spot. If you really care about your mom that much, then why would you go and do things that would cause her to do that? In fact, I think that if anything, your mom would probably just let you get away with this. But I can't believe that I let myself be fooled into staying with a cheater like you. Oh, come on. You know that isn't my fault. I'm a man. What else am I supposed to do when a cute young lady starts flirting with me? I just can't help myself when they are practically serving themselves up on a platter for me. I can't believe that you are actually talking about women in this way. Well, look, if you want to try and divorce me, then do your best. But the fact is that we've been together since I started my company. We've been through so much, so many hard and difficult times when I was still getting it off the ground. The only reason I slept around was because I needed a way to blow off steam. And think of the risk that I was taking with my own reputation doing something like that. You always do this, Alex. You always justify away whatever you do that hurts me. I don't justify it. It was justified. Do you have any idea the stress that being a company president with hundreds of workers comes with? Do you know how much pressure you feel when you have that many people counting on you to lead and provide for them? Do you have any idea how much the success of my company is riding in my image as a family man who knows how to work hard? So you're saying that your whole company is built on a lie? Sure, you might work hard, but you cheat on your wife and always need your mom to be there for you. I mean, your mom still actually writes your name on all the pairs of underwear that you have. And just what business of that is yours, huh? So what if I still really love my mom? I think that's a good thing. And then you made me do the laundry and wash that underwear, which you probably cheated on me in. Okay, fine then. If that's what you're upset about, I'll take my clothes to my mom to wash them. Will that make you happy? Did you seriously just ask me that? Look, Fiona, I'll break up with Tammy, okay? I don't think there's anything more to say about it. I'll buy you some nice jewelry as a way of saying sorry, okay? Then you're going to forgive me for what I've done, and that will be that. Hey, how come you and Allie haven't gotten a divorce yet? Just how long are you going to keep me waiting, huh? Wait, what? I thought that Alex broke up with you. What in the world are you talking about? There's no way he would ever do that. He just told me that we'd have to spend some time apart because you found out about us. But he told me that he still loves me and I still love him. I don't believe this. So he just lied to me about all of that? The only one who needs to break up with him is you so that Allie and I can finally be together. I'm the only woman that he loves. And the proof that he loves me is in his baby that I'm carrying inside of me now. So just get lost already. Hold on a second. Are you telling me that you're pregnant with Alex's baby? Of course I am. And now maybe you finally understand just how serious I am about this. Maybe now you'll finally understand that he doesn't love you. In fact, our anniversary is next month, and that's when I was going to make the announcement to my friends and family about the baby. Well, I guess this must mean that Alex doesn't know either. Of course, but you must understand how great of a thing it is to have a baby of a man you love, right? Oh, wait, oops, <laughs> you don't have any kids from Alex. Oh, I guess you don't know what it's like. I actually can't believe you two still have no kids after all this time. Though, I suppose it's just more proof that he doesn't love you. <laughs> Actually, if you must know, we both agreed not to have kids yet since we're concentrating on our salaries. It has nothing to do with love or anything like that at all. But you two still haven't had a kid yet, isn't that right? Doesn't that prove that I'm the woman he loves the most? How does that even work? I just know this little baby wants to come out and meet his father, so why don't you realize that you're not wanted and leave us all alone already? 
Why can't you just let the three of us live together in peace? I have a lot of things that I want to say to you, but I don't think it's fair for you to involve this baby. It's done nothing wrong at all. Of course it hasn't. That's why you should just disappear before it's born. We'll pay you $50,000 for our affair for you to just go already. You mean you two are really prepared to pay me $50,000 over this? If that's what it'll take to get rid of you, that's what I'm prepared to spend. I've already sold all the nice gifts that Alexander bought me. So you're really going to bankrupt yourself for this guy? Are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure about this. <laughs> After all, Allie is the super rich president of a company. I'll be living in the lap of luxury once you're gone and we're married. He's even going to move us into a really, really fancy condo once we're together. So in the grand scheme, 50000 is really nothing. Wow, is he really promising all of that to you? Why wouldn't he promise all that and more to the woman of his dreams? Do you finally get it? That you're not wanted? That you lost to me? So why don't you just take this money and finally leave Allie? Then we can finally be married and be a happy family. You really think you're going to be happily married to a man without a job? What do you mean by that? I mean that as of today, I imagine that Alexander is no longer the president of his company. Tomorrow, he'll probably be officially fired, but I imagine he's already lost the job. So if you want a man like that, be my guest. Wait, I, I don't understand. What do you mean he's not the company president anymore? Oh, don't worry. You just wait for me to divorce him. Now that he's lost his job, his mom should be pressuring him into signing those divorce papers. I still don't understand what you're talking about. What is going on here? How could Alexander have lost his job? You do know that he was elected to that position by the board of directors, right? And you do know that they gather at regular meetings to discuss how to run the company, right? Well, the rest of the board probably voted to oust Alexander, and now he's out of a job. But I... Oh, that can't be right! Actually, Alexander's mom is one of the largest stockholders, and I'm sure she did a lot to sway people's minds. So anyways, congrats on stealing my no-good unemployed husband from me. No! Oh, this can't be happening! I refuse to accept this! It can't be right! Why did all of this have to happen to Allie now? Don't tell me that he's being fired just for having an affair with me. Oh, that can't be right. How could someone be fired for something they did outside of work? That's got to be illegal. Nothing was done illegally. The board of directors, including his mom, all voted on it as per the charter of the company. He's been company president for over six months. After that, the board is allowed to call a vote on letting him keep that position. The company charter has no rules about how the board must vote or what they should base it on. I don't believe this. And of course, these days companies are so much more strict about compliance with standards and all. Besides, no company wants their president to be known as a cheater. Just think of all the bad PR that that would make for them. I know that Alexander looks good on the surface, but he's a mess just beneath. And once the board found out about his affair that he was carrying on behind my back, well, I think they were all quite shocked to find out the truth. But, I mean, don't they understand? He was only doing it because he found the person he truly loved. I'm not just some fling. I'm the woman of his dreams. What we have between us is pure love, and nobody can tell me otherwise. I mean, I am literally pregnant with his child right now. Hmm, do you want to try giving all of those excuses to my parents? Or maybe you should tell that to his mom and she would change her vote. What do you mean? Why should I talk to your parents? Well, you just might be interested in talking to them since they are the other two largest shareholders in the company after Alex's mom. Not only that, but the three of them represent the majority of the shares in the company. Wait a second. So you're telling me that Ali's largest investors are his mom followed by your parents? This doesn't make any sense at all. I told you that Alexander only really seemed like a catch on the surface. And as much as he likes to talk about how successful he is now, it wasn't always like that. In fact, to get his startup capital, he had to go to his mom and my parents for the money that he needed. 
So that's why all of your parents are the majority shareholders in his company? I just, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, there's not much to say anyways. It's just the truth, and that's that. And his mom ended up with another big chunk of shares because Alexander's just a little mama's boy. What do you mean by that? What do you mean he's a mama's boy? I've never noticed that about him. Well, you've been talking about how you're the woman that Alex loves most in the world, but you completely forgot about his mom. In fact, when we've gone to visit his parents, I know that Alex will get in the bath with his mom. She even writes his name on his underwear. Wait, what? Uh, are you serious? That's... I mean, what the heck? That's so weird. And that's the man that you want to marry. The father of your children. Isn't that great? I'm sure you all will make such a lovely family. Hey, what the heck is your deal? How could you do this to me? How could you tell my mom that I cheated on you? Not only that, but you even had to run and tattle to your own parents as well? Did you know that they all voted me out of being company president? And just when did I say that I wasn't going to tell anyone about your repeated cheating on me, huh? Why in the world shouldn't I have gone to tell our parents all about what you did? I, you, do you have any idea what you've done? If you think that you're upset, just think about how upset I was when I got a message from Tammy telling me you two hadn't broken up. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you told her you two just needed to lay low for a little bit since I found out about you both. Did you really think that I was just going to let that pass without acting at all? But, I mean, why is this time different? You never cared at all the other times that you found out that I was cheating on you. I never forgave you for what you did to me, but what I did was trust that you wouldn't do it again, and that was my mistake. I just assumed that you'd be able to figure out the consequences of doing what you were doing in your position as company president. After all, I assumed that you hadn't forgotten about the fact that it was our parents who set up your company to begin with. But after realizing there was no point in trusting you anymore, I realized I was finally free to speak the truth. But you spoke the truth and it got me fired. Now my mom is trying to force me to sign our divorce papers. Good. Hurry up and do that. Then go and find a job so that you can take care of your child that's on the way. Child? What child? What are you talking about? Are you kidding me? You mean to tell me that Tammy still hasn't told you the big news yet? Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but Tammy is pregnant and she tells me that you're the father. No, this can't be happening. How did it all come to this? What's going on? Oh, don't worry. I was also quite shocked when I heard the news as well. But anyways, wish all three of you the best in your lives. As for me, well, I'll just wait for you to sign those divorce papers, sue you for the affair, and finally be rid of both you and Tammy. Wait, no, please. You can't do this to me. Not after all we've been through. I know that I screwed up by not breaking up with Tammy when I said that I would. I really will this time. You mean you'd abandon your own child to be raised by Tammy alone? No, I mean, I just, please, you have to forgive me. I know that we can find a way out of this. You just don't get it, do you? There is no we anymore, Alexander. There is only you. And whether or not you want to go and be with Tammy and your child or not is up to you. But no matter what you choose, just leave me out of it, okay? Fiona, please, we can still work this out. Come back, please. I'm begging you. Fiona? Pillow? Uh, are you even reading this anymore? After that, I followed through with my word and sued both Alex and Tammy for the affair they were having behind my back before Tammy exposed it all to me. In the end, I got a total of $40,000 from them both. Alexander, now unemployed, ran to his mom to try and ask her for help paying such a huge amount, but his mother was so disappointed in him that she said she never wanted to see him again. I heard that Alex nearly fainted on the spot right there. Instead, Alex made Tammy pay the full amount, promising that he'd stay with her and help raise the baby. He quickly found a job at a nearby grocery store and has been working hard to provide for them both. I have no idea what either of them are up to now, though. I blocked both their numbers, and I imagine that they've both been too busy to even have the time to think about me with a new baby. But 
That works out just fine for me. I just hope that Tammy never has to go through what I went through with Alex, especially considering that the two of them have a child now. But that's none of my business. Kylie, I need to know when you intend on standing on your own two feet for one. It's time you learn to be independent, young lady. Huh? Stand on my own two feet? Be independent? But I haven't lived with you for years now, Mom. Besides, I've been sending you a monthly allowance for God knows how long. I don't want to be rude, but surely if either of us are independent, it's me. Don't get clever with me, girl. It's funny you should mention the allowance, actually. Because it's actually that that I'm upset with you about. You've been lying to me this whole time, haven't you? You've got some nerve to do this to your own mother. Lying to you? Me? What the hell? About what? I know it was really your little brother Oliver sending me my monthly allowance all along. He finally confessed to me in floods of tears that it was him sending me a thousand a month for these last 12 years. It might look like he's not working at a glance, but he actually works from home, and it turns out he makes quite a lot of money. Did you know that? What a little star my boy is. That's the first I've heard of it. But because he's so kind, generous, and big-hearted, and because he thinks so much of you as his big sister, he went out of his way to send you the money, so you could send it to me from your account and take the credit at a sympathetic consideration for your unfortunate position. In doing so, he made it look like the money was coming from you all along. I can't believe he went so far out of his way to protect your dignity. Oh, that's my Oliver. He's really this the kindest boy there ever was. My unfortunate position? I don't even... Hang on, Mom. Wait a sec. Do you actually believe him? I can't believe anyone would fall for a lie this obvious. Don't be silly. There's no way my darling Oliver would ever lie to his mother. The boy's an angel, and I won't have anyone tell me otherwise. That boy? Mom, please. He's a 26-year-old man who lives alone in his perpetually dark bedroom, surrounded by empty potato chip packets and questionable amounts of used tissue paper. Will you just stop and think about this? Oliver was a kid in middle school 12 years ago when the monthly allowance payment started. He didn't get his first part-time job until high school. Even if this working from home stuff is true, exactly how do you suppose he came up with $1,000 a month for those first few years when he was a child? Good grief, Kylie. When will you ever realize that it's exactly this kind of obsessing over minor, trivial details that causes people to find you insufferably boring? All I'm doing is pointing out the inconsistencies in what you're saying. But I see. So this is how you speak to me after I send you $1,000 a month for 12 years, is it? All right, I understood. You believe Oliver unconditionally, no matter what he says, never questioning a thing. But with me, your default response is to treat me like a liar. I mean, it's not like I was doing it because I wanted you to be grateful. I did it because you're family, and I figured I didn't really mind having to tighten my belt and be careful with my spending if it meant helping you out. Oh, please. Stop pretending like you're some saint, dear. You're making me feel physically sick. Drop the act and admit it. I know it was your little brother sending me a thousand dollars a month all along. I have nothing to be grateful to you for. I see how it is. Well, in that case, I'll let Oliver carry on with the payments directly, since you obviously don't need me to be involved with them at all. Just to be clear, you don't need me to have any further involvement in the payments, is that right? Yes, that's right. Fine, I'll leave everything up to your brother from now on. Actually, it's probably for the best. I think this is probably the best way to stop that ego of yours getting overinflated. You're so useless, so why don't you do me a favor and disappear? It's your thing. You know what? That actually works great for me. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. And goodbye. Hey. Is that my scumbag big sister? This is your big brother, and the supreme master of your life, and I have a direct order for you. Starting from next month, you're gonna start adding an extra $500 onto the monthly $1,000 you've been sending to mom's bank account. 
And also, and this part's important, you're going to start sending it directly to my bank account instead. I told mom it was me sending her $1,000 a month indirectly through you this whole time. Let's face it, mom's going to be way happier living with me. I was always her favorite. You can think of the extra $500 as a thank you for my troubles. Oh, and by the way, if you're feeling extra generous and want to help out your awesome little bro even more, you're more than welcome to bump that extra $500 up to $1,000 or $2,000. All right, I'm counting on you, sis. The payments start next month. Do I make myself clear? Sweet. I right, peace. Hey, is that my rotten, filthy, stinking sister? You were supposed to start sending me that money today. I just checked my banking app, but nothing went in. Is it bugging out, or are you just being a lazy, dumb slacker who can't even remember what day of the month it is? If it's the second one, stop lazing around and see to it that that $1,500 goes into my account as soon as goddamn hacking possible. Get a move on, bitch. Hey, mom won't stop nagging me about her monthly allowance money. Where is it? Hurry the hell up before I get seriously mad. You're the biggest blackhead dumb bitch loser I've ever met in my life. This is why you never trust a woman with anything involving money. Is it any wonder mom hates you when you act like this? Get that 1.5k paid directly into my bank account by first thing tomorrow morning. Kylie, hurry up and send me this month's thousand dollars. Excuse me? I thought we agreed Oliver was going to send you it himself directly from now on. Why are you asking me for money all of a sudden? I thought you didn't need anything from me. It's not that I don't need it. Actually, I'm doing you a favor by allowing you the privilege of sending me the money again. You know, it's not good to rely on your brother to do everything for you, right? You're doing me a favor? Yes, that's right. Me and Oliver have decided that that's what's best for your personal development. I hope you're grateful to your amazing little brother. He's been very kind to you, you know. There aren't many people who'd let you take the credit for sending their mother a thousand dollars a month. No, he says he decided to actually let you take over with the payments for real. Instead of tossing you in the garbage where you belong, he's very kindly giving you the opportunity to prove yourself as a decent, respectable human being and finally serve a purpose to this family. Um, you'll have to forgive me, but I'm a little confused. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. That's fine, dear. You might be too dense to understand what I'm talking about. But all that matters is that you take over from Oliver with my $1,000 monthly payments. I'm sure you'll figure out what's going on before long. Listen, forget all that. Don't overexert yourself with too much thinking. Just send me my $1,000 now. Oh, that reminds me. You'll also be sending Oliver $500 a month, won't you? Why would I do that? It seems like your darling brother's been coming up with all sorts of ways for you to prove yourself as a respectable human being. Think of sending him $500 a month as your way of saying things. Oh, it's fine. He doesn't have to help me prove anything. What? I already decided to leave everything involving the money to Oliver. Even if neither of you see me as a respectable human being, I seriously couldn't care less. Kylie! I guess you could say my feelings regarding anything involving the two of you have become numb. Dad died three months after I moved out after getting my first job. And with that, you had to buy groceries and pay the rent with no breadwinner. I couldn't just leave you to fend for yourselves. So out of a sense of duty to you as my family, I scrimped and saved. And I did everything I could to get you that $1,000 for 12 years straight. And to think this is how you repay me? By treating me with contempt and disdain? Like I'm a piece of dirt on the bottom of your shoe? I guess you could see my eyes were open. And now I can see you for what you really are. What are you talking about? All we're talking about here is you taking over the payments for my monthly allowance that Oliver has been taking care of until now. 
You've been free to do what you want all this time while your brother bore the burden. All I'm saying is that the gravy train is coming to its final stop, and it's finally your turn to pull your socks up and pay your dues to this family. You only have yourself to blame for this, my dear. Do I make myself clear? This is your fault, and nobody else's. If you understand, I suggest you send me my $1,000 as soon as possible. Oh, and send Oliver his $500 while you're at it. If I don't see that money by tomorrow, I'll have no choice but to call your company and demand that they start paying your salary directly into my account. Kylie, what's going on here? Is it true that you quit your job? Huh? Remember how I told you I'd have your boss send your salary to my bank account instead of yours if you failed to pay up the $1,500 you owe us? Since I didn't get my money before the allotted deadline of yesterday, I had no choice but to give your boss a call. And when I did, he told me you quit your job ages ago. I can't believe you quit your job just to get out of paying me my monthly allowance. You're rotten to the core. You disgust me. Oh my god, this means you're unemployed, doesn't it? You better not think you're allowed to come back to this house to leech off me just because you can't afford to feed or clothe yourself anymore. You better not go begging to your brother Oliver for any money either. You're on your own now. Was the company you phoned called Duncan Food Products by any chance? Yes, they're the company you got a job with after graduating high school, if I remember correctly. Yep, you remember correctly, but I quit that place half a year ago. Huh? Half a year ago? I read about crypto trading online a few years ago and thought it looked like fun, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to put aside a tiny chunk of my salary every month to play around with the market. Things went way better than I expected, and I eventually got so good that other people online were asking me for advice. I decided to set up my own crypto trading advice forum. Before long, I was making more money than my old job and no longer had the time to balance them both. So I quit Dunkin' Food Products. Wait, you did? Hang on, dear, what's a crypto? I won't bore you by going into detail, but let me give you a simple explanation. It's the future of global finance. I won't pretend to be a millionaire yet, but things are going very well, and I'm making way more money than I ever was at the food company, so I saw no reason to stay. Ah, that's fantastic, dear. So the 1500 you owe me and your brother shouldn't be a problem, then. I have one more announcement for me. I'm getting married. Married? That's the other reason I quit my job. My fiancé is a guy I met at the company. He's Japanese, and he was only ever at our branch as part of a temporary work placement. He's heading back to Japan soon, and I decided I'm going to go with him and start my new life in Osaka. You're marrying a foreign person? Yep, that's right. All of my work is online, so I can do it from anywhere. But sadly for you guys, me and Takeshi are going to have to be careful with our finances, what with moving countries running a household, and managing my company. So I'm afraid I don't have a single cent to spare. Please, get the money from Oliver like we agreed last month. Gah, fine, whatever. It's not like it's the end of the world. I guess Oliver does earn enough that he's been paying me $1,000 a month for the last 12 years. I suppose if that means a tragic failure of a human being that is my good-for-nothing daughter disappearing from both our lives for good, then I should be thankful. All right, great. So we agree that Oliver will be taking over your allowance payments, and I'll never be speaking to either of you again. Fine by me. One more thing. The contract on this phone is set to end the day I leave America, so you won't be able to contact me after I leave for Japan. Yep, yep. Whatever. I have zero intention of messaging you anyway, so who cares? All I need is my dear beloved son Oliver. The two of us will be fine without you. Right. Bye. Hey, is that my bitch sister? What the hell is this crap I'm hearing from mom? You're not gonna pay her allowance? What are you doing? Not only that, but you're moving to Japan? What the heck in heck are you playing at? I knew you liked anime. But I didn't know you were this much of a weep freak. You're free to go wherever you like, but let me make one thing clear. You will be paying me and mom our allowances. $1,500 a month. 
No, 2000 Actually, $2,500. Yep, that's right. I'll very kindly let you off the hook for your abominable behavior for the low, low price of $2,500 a month for the rest of your life. Why does the amount keep going up? Haha! <laughs> there you are. You finally replied. Where's my money, bitch? Oh, that's strange. What is? According to what Mom told me. Far from being the unemployed neat loser I thought you were, you're actually a high-rolling homeworker earning a fat paycheck with nothing but your laptop. The $1,000 I foolishly thought I'd been sending to Mom every month for the last 12 years was actually coming from you all along, right? Huh? No, no, no. Wait a sec. That's just the story I told her. But me and Mom just agreed that she didn't need me to send her money ever again. And she said she's totally fine with you paying her that $1,000 a month from now on. She disowned me and agreed to never speak to me again. She did what? You've always been on her side, right? So naturally, this automatically means me and you will be cutting ties too. What? No, no. If you do that, oh my god, the monthly allowance. You make big bucks working from home, right? You've been paying mom $1,000 a month for the last 12 years, right? No, that was... Anyway, I'm a little busy right now. See ya! Kylie! I need some money, please. Oliver's been lying to me. He lied to me about everything. He said he lied about working from home to put my mind at ease. In light of the little white lie he told me in good faith out of consideration for my feelings. I hereby nominate you once more to pay me my $1,000 a month allowance. Now hurry up and get that money into my bank account. Please. I had less than $100 when I last checked my balance. Things really aren't looking great for your mother here, dear. Ah, Mom. Good morning. Kylie! The contract on my phone's about to end. What? Now? Me and Takeshi are leaving for Japan tomorrow. Tomorrow? All right. I'm going to turn it off now. No, Kylie. Please, wait. Goodbye forever. I heard everything I'm about to tell you from my Aunt Sylvie, who received a desperate SOS message from my panicking mother at 2 a.m. in the morning. Apparently, my mom and Oliver drove out to Denver Airport in a crazed rush to try and track me down and were picked up by security after running around the terminals, accosting strangers to ask whether they'd seen a woman with red hair and an Asian man. And Sylvie said the plan was to stop me from leaving for Japan, but in the usual fashion, they hadn't stopped to think about the consequences of their action. They realized the gravity of their situation when it dawned on them that they'd spent my mom's last $100 filling up the car with gas to get to the airport, and were now stuck hundreds of miles away from home, having no choice but to call Aunt Sylvie begging for help. The funniest thing is, we left from Phoenix Airport. Unbelievably, my mom even asked Aunt Sylvie to take over the monthly allowance payments, which Aunt Sylvie naturally declined. She called them lazy bums, told them to go to the job center, and totally abandoned them for their sheer brazen arrogance. By some miracle, both my mom and brother managed to find low-paying factory work, and now their status as poverty-stricken death grovelers is all but confirmed. To make matters even more hilarious, the fact that neither of them have ever had a job before means they spend every day stressed out and angry at their boss, their co-workers, and each other, and most appropriately, themselves. Last I heard, they spent every day spewing profanities and making empty threats at each other in a beat-up house with a severe cockroach infestation.